Hello guys, in this uh, video I would like to share the solution I found to fix my um, uh, bootcamp problem, bootcamp partition. So just to, to make it quicker, uh, a few days ago I've been messing a little bit with my Windows partition, I mean bootcamp partition on, on Mac and for some reason after I reboot, uh, I want to reboot it in Windows and uh, my MacBook couldn't find the Windows partition and when I book when I boot the laptop into the actual Mac OS when I go to find there I could see the bootcamp partition normally all the files Windows files and uh, everything seems to be perfectly fine but each time I reboot my MacBook and uh, hold the option key it come up only with the Mac OS partition so I didn't know what's going on and I, I had so many important files and uh, and software on the actual Windows partition that I didn't want to erase it really because I didn't have any backup of it. So I was it, it took me quite a long time to find the solution to fix it and after googling and uh, so many different things people coming up with, I reset the PRAM and NVRAM and stuff, nothing, nothing really helped me. And... Uh, I'm not very, not very advanced with the OS systems and and stuff like that. I know a little bit, but uh, I come across one solution which actually helped me and restored my, uh, basically make my bootcamp partition visible and it boot up without erasing any problems. It just make it working again. So if you have that problem, if you if you have all the if you go to Finder, you can see the bootcamp partition from the Mac OS, and you got all the files in the Windows. Nothing 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 disappeared, and uh, you don't want to lose your basically because each time I've opened the bootcamp, it asks me to restore, which basically removed the partition. So I will be able only to re reinstall it but it, it will start from new which I didn't want to do it so the solution I found was helpful to me and basically what I've done like I said I'll show you again I was able to see my bootcamp inside the actual finder I had all the files in there and uh, everything just worked perfectly I was able to go to to, to, to my desktop and uh, see all the files I had in there and everything just works perfectly but when I boot it up with the option key basically my Windows was one my main boot drive so it come after restart it should come up with the Windows but it keeps booting into the Mac so when I reboot it with the option key it didn't give me an option didn't display the Windows partition which was surprising so solution for me was I add the link in the description below so if you need to find it just feel free and go ahead WinClone 6 probably some of you might know the software this is the software to actually back up and restore the bootcamp partition on the another devices and uh, software I'll just cancel it I don't need that at the moment yeah software is paid as you can see you need to buy the license and stuff but to be able to restore to make the partition visible again you don't need to buy any you don't need to purchase uh, license or anything because basically what you want to do you don't want you don't really want to <coughs> um, you don't really want to back it up the the bootcamp you just want to make it visible again so you can boot into the window so as you can see and I cancel the subscription thing and I can see my bootcamp I click on it I use the right mouse you need to enable it in settings if you don't have it because some people when I click on the right side of my magic mouse or, or a double tap on the trackpad it come up with like a, um, it's like imitation of uh, um, right mouse clicking or if you have normal mouse just click right on it and what I've done I've just click make EFI bootable I, I'm not going to do it because obviously my one is working so I don't want to mess anything up but as soon as I click that, it changed because I mess with some file systems, you know, and on my on my drive, it changed some kind of partitions or something, and that's why uh, MacBook wasn't recognizing it. When I make the EFI bootable, all back to normal works perfectly fine, booting into the Windows without erasing anything. So once more, once you enable the WinClon 6, you just click right mouse make if i bootable it takes few seconds come up with the message successfully done that's it et voila you don't have to do anything else you can oh sorry let's minimize that you can basically 
just quit restart and it will come up with the hard drive 100% works to me I'm using the MacBook Pro and uh, with the touch bar 2017 version so I don't know if it works on any any MacBook hope it does and uh, let me guys know if it if it did work for you and uh, hit the like button and subscribe if you want more fix and you can find some other videos in my in my video section as well thanks for watching and uh, see you next time